Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking again about iOS 15. Now the release of iOS 15 is now very, very close. So in this video, we're going to talk about iOS 15, some really, really important things that you need to know regarding this update. And of course, we will talk about when you can expect this update to hit your device. This is really interesting and it will come really, really soon. So you better be prepared for this update. I will also show you guys how to prepare your device. And of course, if you're on the beta, how you should update to the official release of iOS 15. Now, before we get into all that, as always, make sure to smash the like button. That helps out a lot. And of course, we'll make this video do much, much better. All right, so we're starting off with beta 8, which is the latest release of iOS 15 betas. And in my opinion, this is the last beta. This should be the last beta. You can see right here, we have a screenshot from the beta 8 update and it came at around 500 megabytes. Of course, that will be different based on which device you have and which current version of iOS you have currently installed on your iOS device. Now, right here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it came at around 500 megabytes, not such a big update. And of course, it didn't have any new features. Now, of course, with these latest betas, Apple has stopped adding new features. And the only thing that you will see is improvements, bug fixes, and all that. Don't expect Apple to release any new features until 5.15.1 actually comes out, which should be in about probably a month or so some sometime in october you should see ios 15.1 come out that should be alongside with the new mac os and we probably will see a beta for 15.1 again released very very soon maybe as soon as next week so as i said this is a small update nothing has changed from beta 7 even the build number ends with an a just like beta 7 and here we have the build number for this beta you can see it ends with an a right here which means that there will be no more betas so you can expect apple to release the gm version of ios 15 next week probably on like september 7th or 8th there will be a release maybe on the 6th as well there will be a release of an rc or gm version whatever you want to call it which is basically the same version that will also be released to the public and that will happen really really soon so let's just quickly talk in general about ios 15 and the current state of the betas and then of course we will get into the release date and i will show you guys how to update to ios 15 if you already have ios 15 beta installed on your device so as i said currently we're on beta 8 which is of course the last beta of ios 15 and taking a look here at the performance reports by geekbench you can see nothing has changed actually the results are very very similar for quite a lot of betas you can see right here this might be beta 1 i'm not sure maybe one or two that's one of them and you can see all the other betas right here all have basically the similar result nothing has drastically changed here you can see just a few points up and down it's basically the same so performance has stayed quite steady since the release of beta 1. i'm not saying it's bad actually performance is quite good of course on newer devices it should be good but even if you have an older device like an iphone 7 performance should be quite good now that of course due to the fact that apple didn't add like many big changes and features to ios 15 they have focused on basically polishing ios 14 and this is what it actually looks like this has of course some new features that are quite good but nothing like the big features like widgets that we got on ios 14 but again this is quite a good update and of course it has quite a lot of features again talking about performance performance quite good nothing has changed since beta 1 so if you had beta 1 installed on your device you will basically get probably the same performance even though a lot of bugs are fixed with the newer betas that have been released now when talking about battery battery is actually good it's not the best ever but it's quite good and the same similar to the performance battery has also been like quite like steady since the release of beta 1 i've seen a lot of reports with beta 7 a lot of people have experienced like battery drains i didn't experience that myself i had quite good battery life of course you can expect it from a newer device and of course with a very healthy battery so 
battery of course should be way better with the releases of the new versions of iOS 15 so I expect Apple to focus more on battery and performance with the release of iOS 15 beta 1 which again should be in probably like a few weeks sometime on the mid to end of October you should see iOS 15.1 come to your device. Now let's just go ahead and head on to the calendar and let's talk about the next releases of iOS 15 and what you should expect. So right now today is September 1st and you can expect iOS 15 the RC version or the GM version to be released next week so the second week here starting on the 6th so you can expect it to be released any day though probably it will happen on the 7th or the 8th it might happen on the 6th as well but you should see it released this week and a lot of times Apple actually goes ahead and releases two different RC versions so you can expect that to happen if the first RC version goes live early so if it happens on Monday during the week we can expect Apple maybe to release another RC version of iOS 15 and of course once we're done with that we can expect of course the big release the public release of iOS 15 and in my opinion that will happen on the 15th so according to all the reports and the rumors and all that Apple is holding the event on the 14th of September and that should be of course the date that Apple will unveil the new iPhones probably not all the models will go out on on September maybe some of them will go out on October alongside with iOS 15.1 but again you can expect iOS 15 the final version to be released on the 15th you can expect maybe even to happen the day of the event but I don't really believe that last year Apple released iOS 14 a day after the event so the event was on the 15th I believe and then on the 16th they released iOS 14 so this year you can expect the final version of iOS 15 to be released on September 15th. Now I know a lot of people have actually already installed iOS 15 beta on their device so what you should do and how to update the iOS 15 from iOS 15 beta of course you want to update to the public version the, the process to doing that is very simple. Right now, if you have beta 8 installed on your device, the simplest way to do that is by going to settings, go to general and just scroll all the way down here and you will find right here, this is a new section that Apple has added on iOS 15. It is called VPN and device management. You go there and you will see right here the profile, iOS 15 beta software profile and what you should do is go ahead and remove this profile course after you have done that make sure you reboot your device after you have done this you won't receive any new betas of course probably there will be no new betas for iOS 15 but when the RC version gets released next week you won't receive it but you will receive the public version of iOS 15 when it gets released on the third week of September that will probably happen on the 15th so if you do that then you will update to the general to the, to the actually public version of iOS 15. But if you don't remove this profile and you get the RC version and install it on your device, then that's basically the public version. That's the same version that will be released to the public. So when iOS 15 goes live, even though you might have removed the profile after installing the RC version on your device, you won't get an update for iOS 15 because you already have that same update on your device. So the RC version is basically identically the same it will have the same build number as the public re release of iOS 15. And last but not least should you update to iOS 15 or not. I know a lot of people are actually disappointed with iOS 15. We expected Apple to bring some great new features to iOS 15 but of course they didn't and we have some quite good ones like for example this one right here the contact widget actually pretty cool but of course there are other features that are quite good like the live text feature is really amazing and really helpful and you will of course find yourself using it a lot so i suggest everyone to update to ios 15 there's nothing to lose if you have ios 14 just see it as an updated version of ios 15 you will get like 300 more features most of them are actually really good and of course very very useful as well 
So that's basically for this video guys, OS 15 should be here in about two weeks now. Now we're actually counting days, not weeks until the release of the public version of iOS 15 and of course the new iPhones, which should be really, really exciting. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more iOS 15 videos and I'll see you guys on the next one.